Rugs can help contain dirt, make boat floors non-slippery, and add a bit of color to the decor on your boat. But if you choose the wrong ones, they can cause more trouble on board. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share what you need to consider before buying rugs for your boat. Now, this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by SeaTech Systems, experts in cruiser communications. This year, they're introducing the Narwhal Connect, a complete internet and calling solution for your boat. With plug-and-play Wi-Fi, cellular, and satellite, it's the only system designed to give you cost-effective internet anywhere in the world. Visit SeaTech.com for more information. Now, as a bonus, Boat Galley podcast listeners get free shipping with the code BG20 at checkout. SeaTech Systems. Navigate anywhere. Connect everywhere. So let's talk a bit about boat rugs. How do you go about choosing rugs for the boat? Now, don't worry. I'm not an interior designer, so I'm not going to discuss designs. Well, at least not too much. But I can give you a few things to look for and a few things to stay away from. The basic problem is that it's almost impossible to find all of the desired features in one rug. So you have to decide what's most important to you. First is non-slip. The rugs really have to be non-slip, as slipping rugs equal falls and injuries and even broken bones. You can either get rubber-backed rugs or use a rubber non-slip mat. People even, a few people even use double-sided tape under a regular rug. Any way you do it, the rubber can stick to the floor below. Usually a bit of scrubbing with something pretty simple like a scrubber dish rag will remove it. For tape residue, WD-40 works well, but be sure to wash the area well afterwards to get the oily residue off of it. Now the varnish on our floors is far from perfect, so that worked for me. But if you have really nice floors, you might want to think twice before putting any rugs down, since I don't know of any ways to keep rugs from moving about without occasionally having something stick to the floor. The next thing is, generally they need to be washable. Any rug on a boat is going to have to be washed periodically. How often depends on your activities. But salt water, sand, galley spills, and even drops of used motor oil will probably make their way onto your rugs. Washing is hard on rubber-backed rugs. The rubber will start to flake off. But you can help them out by washing them in cool or warm water, in other words, not hot, and then drying on low temperature or air drying them. Okay, let's talk about stain masking. Boat rugs just do pick up stains. Wine, spaghetti sauce, motor oil, dog puke, we've had them all. We have learned that colorful, irregular patterns don't show stains nearly so much as solid colors or small repeating patterns. That's my one design point, so take it for what it's worth. Long-lasting. That tends to be a little bit iffier. Unfortunately, the rubber on the rubber-backed rugs will start peeling off after anywhere from 6 to 18 months. It's shorter in tropical weather, places with hard use, or lots of washes. And it's compounded, of course, by the original quality. Now, backing on other rugs will usually last one to two years, but generally they can't be washed. When the flaking gets too bad, it'll put a lot of gunk onto the floor, and from there into the bilge, and potentially even clog bilge pumps. So you need to watch for it and replace the rugs before there's a problem. Rag rugs are good, as they can be washed, and there's no rubber to start peeling off. But you do have to have a separate non-slip pad. And rag rugs can be hard to find in sizes and shapes that work on the boats. And you can't cut them to fit. Okay, yeah, that's size. That's another thing. On some boats, such as ours, that was the big one. There just aren't a lot of rugs that would fit our boat. Depending on where you're using them, sometimes you can get a larger rug and cut it to fit, if the cut edges will be in an area without a lot of traffic. Otherwise, they'll ravel. Cut edges also preclude washing a rug unless you can put a binding on the cut edge so it doesn't fray in the wash. 
If you have an odd size, look at things such as bath mats too. That's what I ended up using just inside our door. It's a long loop terry with a non-slip mat under it. Since that's the inside rug that gets most of the dirt, it works well to just shake it out daily and it washes beautifully. And then there's always the issue of price. Prices range from a few dollars at the discount store to several hundred for truly luxury carpets custom fit for your boat. Our first cruising boat, Ketal, came with a custom rug that previous owners had purchased. It was beautiful, and I'm sure it cost a mint. But in less than two years, about four years from when it was originally put on the boat, we had to replace it as the back was totally disintegrating and falling into the bilge. The bottom line is that spending more on a rug does not mean it will last that much longer, particularly in the tropics. The only rugs I could find to fit Barefoot Gal were rubber-backed, and so I've had to replace them in about a year and decided on a maximum price with that in mind. Over the years on our two boats, I've bought rugs just about everywhere. I mean, the first ones I got for Barefoot Gal, I got really cheap ones at Dollar General since we were working on the boat, and I knew they'd be stained almost instantly. They lasted seven months, and I got some new ones then. The next ones lasted about two years, and I found those on Amazon. Eventually, I ended up refinishing all of our teak floors, and now I don't use any rugs at all. So if you've seen a recent picture that I don't have rugs, well, that is true. I like having the rugs, but with the new finish, I didn't want to have the rubber down on them. Whatever you do, enjoy your rugs and enjoy what it does to the design on your boat. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast. Please tell your friends and be sure to subscribe.